Hello guys, this is Lightyear One solar powered electric vehicle we've been hearing of since 2016 and it's going off into sale in the next couple of months, about four to five months from now, with some orders already fulfilled, about 120 of them. Every little detail you need to know in here for you from powertrain through range and ties to availability, so don't click away from here. A sub to the channel will be very much appreciated. Let's go find out what makes this Lightyear One vehicle tick. actually believe this will soon be a production vehicle it is not an april fool's joke people it is not do not adjust your sets the extreme aero light year one was born out of the world solar challenge and has been under development for the past five years and goes on sale in the fourth quarter of 2021 the mission of light year one as a company is to provide clean mobility to everyone the solar powered technology has the potential to be more energy efficient than today's electric vehicles sprouting every here and there it can go further on the same battery so it has the potential to be much more convenient than the electric vehicles we are used to today at quite an affordable price because the battery can be smaller the company wants to actually progress to mass production models by 2024 to 2025 and it's being worked on as we speak right now take a look at it looks so gorgeous so slick so um, futuristic as um, has been mentioned and this is actually the world's first solar powered production vehicle on top of that here in autumn it goes on sale cost is around 156,000 pounds and it comes with new Bridgestone tie technology which boosts the range that officially is meant to do in terms of um charge actually there is going to be a limited production run of 946 pieces and that is what the company plants all built at the company's factory in Netherlands. the car will actually launch and be sold in europe switzerland and norway uk not confirmed because all production models are currently left drive setups it's long at 5.1 meters from the tip to the tail and styled in an extreme teardrop shape as you you've seen to boost aerodynamics but also to provide enough space for four passengers and their luggages in a generous 780 liter boot capacity which is generous rising through to 1701 if you drop the rear seats that's very very generous in this case that long footprint also provides enough area for the five square meter of solar panel that is on the roof if you live in less sunny climbs you can of course plug the car into a charge up from the mains at home and you do 22 miles of range in one hour from the wall box or if you're on a faster charger that's 130 miles in one hour at 22 kilowatts or 354 miles in one hour on a 60 kilowatts charging station right now interestingly bridgestone in connection with light year has come up with a very um, range boosting ties and that is the special rubber fitted is a typically tall narrow size 175 by 60 rim 19 inch that comes with this car to reduce the aerodynamic drag of the vehicle down to just below 0 0.20 cd and the rolling resistance is much lower than the conventional ties bridgestone actually claims that the ties add the equivalent of 17 extra miles to the 450 ev mile range the power is provided by an in-wheel motor at each corner for four-wheel drive but the emphasis is very much on range not performance the vehicle however does 0 to 62 mph sprint in less than 10 seconds but more interesting is the 7.5 miles of range provided by an hour of solar 
charging on a bright day. If the battery size fitted is 60 kilowatts and the light year one price i bet is something you really want to know about so let me just round it up with that okay so the light year one's price is around 150,000 euro excluding sales so let's call that equivalent of 130,000 pounds rounded up to 156,000 pounds including vat and on-road charges now 120 cars have already been um, sold to people in the land and the focus is largely on the dutch market but will soon be ramping up the market efforts to reach other areas where the vehicle fits the standards and the protocols of vehicular usage now these are the areas that we have identified now which is about the basic that you need to know about the light year one if you intend to go that route Autostop will update this with a newer episode when the vehicle becomes more accessible to us. And speaking of launch range EV vehicles, click on my left top corner for the 2022 Mercedes-Benz EQS if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great time until we meet again same time. Bye-bye.